Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is from Pediatric Nursing. It's about toddler's growth and development. Toddler is the age group between one to three years. Let's get started. About growth and development of toddler. This is a toddler. It's a picture of a toddler holding a phone. Toddler is the age group between one to three years. This is an age where a child learns how to walk, run, and communicate with others. Unless an infant, we started from language development, monosyllable word, bisyllable word, crying, laughing, smiling. Here, by the age one, uh, they have already started to speak at least a sentence, noun, verb. So now, between one to three years, they learn how to communicate, run, walk, Child will be able to recognize family members, differentiate strangers, and develop, develop emotional aspects. Physical development during toddler root can be till 18 months, birth weight quadruples, four times. 24 months, that is two years, height becomes 85 centimeters. 18 to 24 months, head and chest circumference become equal. Dentition, canine, first molar and second molar are developed between 20, 16 and 30 months. That is 16 to 20, in between 10 to 16 and 20 to 30 months. We have anterior frontanel and posterior frontanel in newborn, which needs to be ossified. Suture also needs to be covered along with that, which occurs within a year, within infancy. But about frontanel, Posterior frontanel ossifies within 6 to 8 weeks, whereas anterior frontanel ossifies within 15 to 18 months. This is about physical development. Integumentary system, resistance of skin to infection and ability to prevent fluid loss. Cardiovascular system, pulse rate is 110 beats per minute. Blood pressure is 99 by 65. Respiratory system become respiratory system. There is increase in chest volume, thoracic volume, whereas respiration rate is 26 breaths per minute. Urinary system by two years, toddler is able to conserve water and concentrate urine. Regarding gastrointestinal system, salivary gland reaches to functional maturity. That means there is production of saliva. Also, capacity of stomach increases. Acid content of stomach increases. Also, there is diet change. We uh, provide it. We usually provide exclusive breastfeeding till the age of six months and then introduce weaning food. By the age of one year, we can slowly introduce a soft diet to the baby. After that, when the child is able to tolerate the soft diet, we can provide a normal diet. Regarding immunity system, Immunization through vaccine is continued and essential, which helps in production of immunoglobulin. There are already existing natural immunoglobulins, but some immunoglobulins develop with time. The number of brain cells is completed by the beginning of toddler root period, and baby has coordinated movement. That means functions of brain develops as much as there is development in structure of the brain. Regarding gross motor development, 12 to 13 months child can locomote easily, move from one place to another easily. 18 months child tries to run but falls easily. 24 months child walks up and down stairs, whereas 28 months child can jump using both feet and can stand on one foot and walk on tiptoe. Regarding fine motor development, 12 to 15 months child can drop a raisin into a narrow neck bottle. Raisin can be a play toy. Little circular thing that toddler can drop inside the neck of the bottle. Build a tower of 2 to 3 cubes. Building a tower. Tower is actually a play toy. Okay, A child tries to build the tower by fixing it over one another. And we determine fine motor development on the basis of child being able to create tower making that using that blocks. 18 months child can throw a ball overhand and build a tower of 3 to 4 cubes. 
two years child can use hand to build towers six to seven cubes. Also, three years child can draw circle on a paper. Now able to hold a pencil. Three years draw circle on a paper, and there is finger to eye coordination while drawing. Language development by the end of year, child can use one complete sentence. By 15 months, child is able to recognize the name of various parts of the body, eyes, lips, nose. By 18 months, child identifies picture of familiar object when named. Like when you name some object, they can identify. When you name utensils that they use, when you name their toys that they play every day, they are able to recognize. That means they are familiar. By two years, they understand complex sentences, instructional sentences, where we use adverb, adjective, they can understand. Not just noun and verb, now they are able to understand adverb, adjective, preposition. Cognitive development, here we still are in sensory motor stage, but to two years, we discussed remaining previous sensory motor stages, sub-stage in Infant, infant cognitive development, you can see the video. Now we have substage five and six, that is 12 to 18 months and 18 months to two years. In substage five, child develops variation of old responses in approaching a new object. That means they use their previously acquired skill to acquire a new skill. In substage six, that is 18 months to two years, Invention of new things is done by the child by their mental combination. They combine all the concepts they have and try to invent something new. Also, they imitate. If they watch some cartoon, if they watch some movies, they try to imitate the character. They also try to imitate their primary caregiver, parents, grandparents. Pre-operational stage from two to seven years. This is also important because this is linked to two years. Two to three years. Child's thinking is based on now concrete operations and action on immediate environment. That means they are able to respond immediately. Child uses one word to several rather than similar person, person or object. Child now tries to use different forms of language, carries out different activities, different operations. In psychosocial development, for toddler, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Toddlers succeed in gaining of sense of self-rule if they are able to gain autonomy. Autonomy is closer to independency. If the child is able to function everything by oneself, by one rule, by his own rule, then child has achieved autonomy. If child has not achieved autonomy on time within toddlerhood, then as an adult, that adult will not be able to gain autonomy so easily and always have self-doubts. Next is psychosexual development. There is anal stage. Infancy was oral stage. Now, anal stage. Here, child's greatest pleasure is anus. And Toilet training is also done at this stage. In the total mood, parents need to teach their child how to hold the bladder, pass urine, hold the stool, pass the stool. The child who can, who can accept the toilet training easily moves on to next stage easily. If there is inability to fulfill anal stage on time within the age, then the potential conflict is during adult life, Child will suffer from frustration, aggression, rigid and compulsive behavior. Moral development. Here we have two stages related to toddler. Stage 0, stage 1. Stage 0 is a birth to 2 years. Stage 1 is 2 to 3 years. In stage 0, the toddler functions on basis of what he or her, him or her, is likes and wants. In stage one, that is a period of punishment and obedience orientation. That means in stage zero, they like to do whatever they want and they end up doing whatever they want. But in stage one, the caregiver can punish them so that they can separate between what is right and what is wrong. 
use of simple and non harming punishment can be given to the child just to make them obedient and oriented to their environment play toddler usually do parallel play that means many children playing at a place but playing on their own parallelly they are involved in motor creative quiet and dramatic play motor play is use of muscles use of hand and feet creative play is creating something out of imagination cooking something acting like something cleaning something creative play quiet play is playing without any verbal activities playing alone and playing without any verbal activity dramatic play is imitating someone imitating mother imitating father imitating caregiver that is dramatic play functional play is functioning like something functioning like caregiver functioning like doctor functioning like the cartoon that they have watched functional play this functional play carries more activities than other quiet and dramatic play this is a parallel play many uh, toddlers sitting at one place and playing parallelly there are some specific need of toddlers they are love and security separation anxiety regression dependence progressing to independence toilet training developing self esteem and health promotion all of these needs needs should be provided to toddlers on time because fulfillment of need enhances the self esteem of the toddler and then that is how they can achieve that stage and move on to next stage prevention from injury as they are just learning to walk just learning to run toddlers are most prone to injury and accidents it might be minor or major but toddlers toddler who is the age where children are most prone to accidents accident can be motor vehicle accident because they don't know how to cross the road and if they see something on the other end of the road they just want that and they run towards it drowning if they are left alone near source of water and they they want to explore the water they go near the water drowning might occur burn they like to explore fire chemicals so any kind of burn can occur suffocation if they if they have something that is larger than their oral cavity or if they expose themselves to some gas smoke suffocation might occur fall might occur from bed from kitchen slab from any place poisoning can occur from various chemicals if children are exposed to cleaning cleaning chemicals also insecticides pesticides then poisoning might occur thank you so much next topic will be discussed in next video